She ain't sucking no. Now I'm gonna be completely honest with you. <laughs> All right, this shit is called This Can't Happen. So it's, it's about been a EDP, very long apparently. time since we last talked about infamous Cupcake Enjoy Your EDP 445. <laughs> you guys cupcake. are beyond familiar with his story at this point. He was once a beloved <laughs> figure on the internet who was known for his equal fandom, his dirty humor, his explosive Chipotle <laughs> craps, and of course his toilet mouth to go with that. My, my bad, y'all. I'm busting out a YouTube video, dog. And uh, we better get the f out of here, dude. I just over flooded the toilet. People all over the world absolutely <laughs> love DDP, and the man had been memed into eternity. I mean, it's all right, like, overrated, overrated as, as f in my opinion, I mean. <laughs> and of course, a couple of years ago, he was caught up in some Chris Hansen, uh, please have disgusting. a seat over there type of allegations, with all of his channels being removed from YouTube, and his Instagram and Twitter pages being nuked. It's good. It's good. Since then, the man mocked the allegations time and time again, if you honestly believe that I'm a mother you're high. He tried and failed to <laughs> launch his own <laughs> website. He tried and failed to get a regular job Bro. on several occasions, but would either quit or just straight up get fired because people would harass him at work and even force him to move by calling his apartment he was living in and telling them all about his background. People called him Yikes. out when he was shopping in public. He sold his YouTube play buttons. I'm also selling my original YouTube plaque from back up in the day. He begged for viewers to fund his Bro, trip to Super Bowl his 2022. Is that bad? I decided to um, post and make a GoFundMe. Um, get e Who is gonna fund you, bro? What? A GoFund you for you? Nah. Come on, bro. EP445 to Super Bowl 57, you know what I mean? Link to the GoFundMe is in my bio. Gideon and Skeeta tried to catch him yet again, and apparently his liver and his kidneys were even failing him at some point. Um, I remember when I got to, I remember when I was rushed to the hospital after a friend of mine made me go. Um, the kidney specialist and the actual doctor, they both agreed on and they told me it's a good thing that you came when you did because if not, you would probably, more than likely, you'd be... Bro you'd still be has dead fans, though. Months. You know, EDP really does kind of remind me of a Michael Myers. It's like the camera flashes away and boom, he's gone. But don't worry, because he always comes back. And this week on the channel, I'm actually picture. going to be updating you guys on quite a few old friends. So y'all let me know down below in the comments who you think you might see or who you've been waiting for an update on. I do think that y'all know some of the more obvious answers. Regardless, the only place that you could find erectile dysfunction's penis for the last calendar year was on obscure websites that would likely give your computer a virus. I'm talking about AI Joe Rogan ads next to more ads about losing half your body weight with a magic pill. <laughs> and you know, back when I was a kid, that would have seemed like a joke. But nowadays, that o o o o Zimpic has all sorts of people acting up. But now That's EDP true. is back, and he's been making videos for over two months now. And he's actually garnered around 30,000 subscribers he's... and 25,000 followers on Instagram. What? Right, so this is my 9 million attempt at trying to create a mother YouTube channel. Um, we'll see how long this bullshit lasts. Probably won't last long at all, to be honest with you. Um, you know, and I've noticed that with YouTube, uh, they don't have a problem with you creating a YouTube channel. That's more than perfectly fine but it's as soon as you start making videos then that's when they want to terminate and yank your shit down so we'll see how because long when you're not making videos they don't give a fuck because no one knows you the only thing you could do with just the channel is leave comments bro and like videos and subscribe to other channels but you're making videos as edp why is this so stupid bro this mother shit last the policy on youtube is essentially when you get terminated once you cannot just make another account and avoid your ban. I mean, that would defeat the whole purpose of, of the banning. Banned. Like recently, Sneeko got his Sneeko. YouTube account back for a whole 24 hours. That is before a Monday morning when a YouTube employee seemingly logged on and banned his ass once again. And while I personally <laughs> did find that kind of funny, I do wish <laughs> that YouTube would ban you, but also allow you to return after a certain period of time, even if it was years. Almost like being in a YouTube jail. Because I've never seen someone who was banned successfully come back to YouTube without them eventually deleting their existence once again. Regardless, EDP has been oh, dropping brother. some generational classics on his new channel. I mean, who could forget titles like Shit It On Myself Eating Jack in the Box, Top 300 Corn Stars, yeah. Oil Me Up Daddy, No Diddy, what the f 
fuck? What the fuck, bro? <laughs> this is crazy, bro. <laughs> Shitting out motor oil, MLK445, I had a dream. And you know what's crazy about this? These titles are weird, bro. And YouTube is still pushing it out. And my personal favorite, something bit my ass cheek while I was taking a shit. I mean, imagine you were just out somewhere desperately needing to use the restroom. And you lean your face up to that- Nah, this pissed me off. This pissed me off. a potty door and you hear edp yapping away now that must be a canon moment and the first video i watched be after this moment. beautiful intro to his channel was him complaining about how of girls is scamming him by making him pay for videos but lying about the content in said video more particularly models i gotta give it up to you man you guys take advantage of horny ass mother you feel me? <laughs> That's not their fault. I mean, I get, I get what he's saying. Yes, it's, it's a, it's a two way, two way street, bro. Yes, they're taking advantage of horny ass niggas, but these horny ass niggas have no problem paying for it, bro. Take advantage of their dumbass ignorance, my nigga. If that's even a word. Ignorance. What I want you guys to be very aware of. You feel me? If you guys go to a model profile and it says free to subscribe, bro, are those all shit, Eagles man, jerseys? Out, bro, she'll send messages through your DMs, right? Oh my god, I invited some friends over. I can't believe um I got dicked down. <laughs> this thing is crashing out over getting scammed by OF model. Well, not even getting scammed. Like, come on, bro. Um, I let it all hang out today. Let's just say, for example, the video is, I don't know, $15, $20 dollars somewhere around there. You feel me? You pay for the fucking shit. The bitch ain't sucking no. Now I'm gonna be completely honest <laughs> with you guys. Like at this point in 2024, anyone paying for nudes or adult content kind of deserves to get their pockets run. Like That's what I'm saying, bro. There's so many free alternatives, bro. The whole the whole rise of OF is mind boggling to me when it's always free, bro. Like, no, it's not the girl scamming you, it's your penis. Like, you cannot be paying the price of three streaming services to see some virtual booty cheeks. That is unacceptable. You cannot be so horny that you're typing in your debit card information for this chick who will never know you exist. I buy this goddamn video. This bitch is on the corner of her bed doing this shit with her stomach. I mean, I guess we should not be surprised. <laughs> okay, bro, look, look. This, EDP is still a terrible human being, and I'm not, I'm not trying to, like, glorify him in any way, but I still, you, you can't lie that that nigga is not funny, bro. <laughs> Even though he's a terrible human being, he still is funny, bro, sometimes. When this man can recite 300 corn stars right off the dome. He had even made another video that YouTube dumb. apparently took down about his top 50 adult websites. <laughs> EDP, bro. As a matter of fact, this guy has probably spent more time beating his meat than anybody on earth at this point. It it's actually not... might have aided in his mind becoming the sick and twisted mess that it is today. Then personally, I was very intrigued by this video. Titties sticking to my stomach. Oh, I think the last time I... <laughs> Measured my titties. I think I was what? I think I was like a 38 double D. Damn, it honestly nigga. just. <laughs> a 38 double D is crazy, bro. Come on, nigga. <laughs> Seems like EDP is kind of frozen in time. He speaks as though everyone just forgot Ew, about okay. what he was doing in those chat logs and what What's he tried that, to baby? do that day going to the Forbidden Bakery. <laughs> I even believe he was caught once this again one? doing some suspect things this in one? Instagram <laughs> messages after that situation had occurred. But in general, the man is still pounding fast food. Right, damn. What the f am I going to do with that little piece of shit? Still giving out political advice, and of course still bitching about the Eagles. Either way, he did make this video where he tries to like half acknowledge his naughty behavior of the past. You know, addressing what happened a few years ago, the whole incident and stuff like that. I'll be the first person to tell you, I was in a very dark place in my life. Very dark place. I had the fame, 
had the money, you know, um, had the status, you know. I thought that I couldn't be touched and paid the price for it. Oh yeah, depression made- Ironically enough, this nigga just used the words, I thought I couldn't be touched. <laughs> he was trying to touch- okay. Everyone out there turned into a modern day Woody Allen. The guy is talking like he was a celebrity or some shit when he was really just a glorified living meme. But I will say, when they caught him like a wild Pokemon, it was- Bro has gray chest hair. Body hair. Your body hair is gray, nigga. Just about the biggest story of the year on YouTube. Now, as far as weirdos oh, hitting me up on Instagram, they are literally 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 year olds, you know what I mean, DMing me, hitting me up on Instagram, and they'll type this message and they'll be all like, oh my God, are you the real EDP? And the moment I respond with, yes, I am. What they'll do, right? And they think that they're sneaky about this shit, right? Malicious intent, you feel me? I mean, at this point, I don't really understand why EDP would be responding to absolutely anyone online. And the fact that he's been digging so he's deep to know that so they're dumb, underage bro. is crazy to me too. This one chick, she messaged me, right? And she goes, oh my God, are you the real EDP? I respond back with, bitch, how old are you? Like, I don't think someone like this should be allowed to communicate with other people online, period. Just don't period. respond, dude. His computer and phone should be like when a person drives drunk too many times and needs a breathalyzer test for their <laughs> car to start. Like, all he should be able to do is use Microsoft Paint and fucking pinball. But just wait till you guys hear this next genius level point he's about to make. Obviously, adults should be held accountable. And they should be, um, they should get in trouble for messaging not the faded and engaging in <clears throat> those type of conversations in that particular way right what are you saying bro i also feel minors should get in trouble for messaging adults um what nigga what you feel me having a very malicious intent behind their messages. Yeah, this- Yeah, no, bro, that, that's not it. That's a terror. that's- God dang, that's, that's the worst take I've heard all year, bro, oh my- Minors should get in trouble for messaging adults? They're kids, bro! They don't know what the fuck they- Some of these kids don't know what the fuck they're doing, bro. Not saying that all of them don't know what the fuck they're doing, but nigga, just don't respond to the kids, bro. What the fuck? Why is that? Why are niggas like that, bro? Why is it that niggas can't put two and two together? Like, hey, this kid is underage. Maybe let me not message them in a weird way. It's that simple, bro. You don't gotta be a weirdo, bro. This guy is never going to take accountability for one second in his entire life. That's fucking... I mean, here's a bright idea. You don't f message a kid. Like, I don't think it's that hard not That's to do That's what I it. said. Give him, give, him, give him purposely messaging, not just me, purposely messaging people, right, to f with them. Just because you think a person is guilty or not guilty, right? Even if, even if there's a kid who messaged you trying to catch you being a predator. The easiest way to not be a predator is to not respond. It's, it's not, don't respond. It's not that hard, bro. Don't respond. If you're not a predator, bro, don't respond, bro. Like, I don't get it. Why is that? gives you the right to go out and start harassing people. And then when they've decided that they've had enough, they don't believe it, and they pull out that and they sh your motherfucking ass, right? All of a sudden, it was just a prank. Keep in mind, these are kids he's talking about. Keep in mind, these are kids he's talking about, bro. 
Kids are harassing you because you be you were a predator, bro. Like, bro, just just live with it, bro. That's your fault. Bro, you were literally caught red-handed. Like, we saw the messages, we saw the attempt to meet the decoy. That's like, you're lucky they botched the operation because your ass should be in jail and not spewing shit from some random closet on YouTube. And then in this video, this man actually has the audacity <laughs> to try and take the moral high ground on the P. Diddy situation. My nigga Sean P. Diddy Combs, AKA my motherfucking main nigga Puff Daddy. You know you fucked up, don't you? The quicker you admit it, my nigga, the easier it'll be. I mean, all that trying to run and get away and trying to lie out the shit, f all that, nigga. You know? This is the same nigga who showed up to a minor's house trying to, you know, and told the niggas he was just there to get a fucking cupcake. This is the same nigga who said he was at a minor's house just to get a cupcake. You know what I mean, nigga? They got you. Yeah, so basically EDP is just as delusional and in denial as he was two years ago when he got caught. I mean, at the end of the day, this guy had it made in the shade. Obviously, due to his size and his digital footprint, he was already limited in his employment opportunities. And the guy was making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to fire up his camera for a few minutes a day and talk his shit. And of course, he was also raking it in, making cameos that people paid for. But now his reputation is forever tied to Cupcake Gate, and he likely has to work the graveyard shift at some fast food joint. Not that there's anything wrong with that, that, but it's quite the sad contrast compared to his life before. Either way, I want to know what you guys think about this EDP update down below. Honestly, I'm surprised that his channel has lasted on YouTube as long as it has. Like I said before, y'all let me know down below in the comments anyone else who you've kind of been waiting for an update on. But for now, it's been your boy, The Tan Superman. I do want to thank you guys for watching today's the video, Tan dropping Superman. a like and subscribing. But as you guys know, there's some other internet weirdos out here that need to be covered, so I'm out. I hope EDP does not actually make a, a real comeback. I, I hope this is like real temporary. YouTube catches on to it and just bans that nigga again, bro, because that's... Nah, bro. No.